Greetings and salutations, Enclave fans and Wastelanders. I'm Noodle Pants. And I'm Oscaps. And late last night, we were gifted with some new Enclave data mines by Mr. Enclave in the Vault 42 Discord server. So thank you for this. Yay, Enclave! There's not a lot here, but we decided to make the video anyway because anything is anything. So let's just dive right in. First up, we have an Enclave branded lab coat. Ooh, you know I love my lab coat. I wear it for all of our science videos. I'll be happy to upgrade to this one. I wonder if this lab coat is the full outfit because you see that it's over a skirt and some stockings and some nice socks and shoes that are appropriate for what I would think a, an Enclave scientist would look like, the blue shirt as well. Yeah, total nerd. If you're more of a soldier type, we have some very sexy looking fatigues here. Do you think this is on a man or a woman? Oh, this will look good on both. This is indeed sexy. I'd love to see you in that. I was playing an expedition today and there was a girl on our team who was wearing like a tight sweater communist outfit and she looked good. She made me feel like being a communist might have some additional benefits that I wasn't aware of. Oh! <laughs> I've never seen communism look so sexy. Nice. Now that should be on the t-shirt. Enclave hazmat suits. So basically the same hazmat suit that we have, but you've got the Enclave logo on the back of the helmet. But I think that the white is different from the kind of light tan brown. I think so as well. Our hazmat suits look remarkably dull and boring, and this actually looks interesting and textured. I feel like the Enclave might be the evolution of SpaceX in the future. I think so. I think so. Sexy and upgraded. <gasps> Ooh. Wow, now that is sharp. That is sharp. This looks a little bit like the communist commander outfit. I don't remember the name of it exactly, but like the communist officer's outfit, except that I, I think, once again, Enclave has really stepped it up and turned it into something beautiful. It's super sexified. Ooh, here's some Enclave T45 power armor paint. They certainly have their style down. This is very attractive. We have some more power armor paint here, and it's not clear if these will just be available as paints or if they will be raid rewards. There was some commentary about that in the Discord server, but to keep things nice and tidy, we just put them all on the same screen. That whole color grade is just absolutely amazing. I think it's a really nice combo of like the weathered wasteland look that we like, but also the slick and sexy, well-kept armor. Like they really got this right. It also is muted or maybe less saturated teal and gold. <gasps> yes, it is. Very nice. Look who's the artist now. Teal and gold is a standard color grade that you will see in, in fact, you can see it on the screen around this, where <laughs> the, the teal and gold, it is very appealing to the eye. And once you're aware of it, you'll start seeing it in movies and videos and all sorts of places. Apparently now the Enclave has gotten on board with it. Here's a reward you can get from running a raid and another set of armor that might also be a raid reward. This one, the way that it's configured right now, looks like it was ripped from an Assaultron. Ah, uh, yeah, 100%. The reward on the right, do you think that's a miniature or like a full-size statue? Oh no, I think that's a, a miniature. Those are cute. I like having those on desks. Moving on, we have new paint for the Cremator. Wow. That looks great. That's beautiful. The Cremator is still one of the best weapons in the game for ranged flame attacks and all the variations and DOT stuff that you can get with it. So it's nice that our Enclave brothers and sisters will be able to sport this in style. I can imagine somebody with this in either the fatigues or the officer's uniform or even that Assaultron looking scout armor thing. Oh yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. I'm very excited to be able to get specialty skins for one of my favorite weapons. Here we have the Gatling Plasma, again, in a kind of a teal and gold weathered look. You know, it's almost like steampunky. It is, yes, just without the unnecessary gears. Gauss minigun, all right, so in the same motif, looking good. I like the way that the labels are looking like they're kind of a little bit rubbed off. Oh yeah, totally. It's like something that I bought from Amazon. <laughs> oh. oh, the Gauss shotgun. There's been a lot of talk about the Gauss shotgun lately. This is a great weapon by itself, but wow. That is gorgeous. The artist that is behind this paint needs a raise. Yeah, the stars on the dark background look so good. I like the barrel with the four clusters of, what do you got there? Seven 
ports each. Oh, yeah. Nice. Very nice. It almost makes me want to run a shotgun build just so I can carry this thing around. Ah! Oh, dead things on slabs, my favorite. Some more stuff for your creepy basement operating theme. That and is... That is a trog? What that, is that? That's a headless trog, yeah. This is also appropriate for Enclave. I think that they would be, you know, with the science team doing dissections and vivisections. I like that they start by cutting the heads off. Well, yeah, because you don't want the thing to wake up. Yeah, it's very practical. Oh, okay, hold on. This, look at look where the head is. It looks like they just kind of erased it with a, with an erase oh, tool, but didn't finish it. They, that's totally what it is. And look at all the pink lines. It's still being graphed. Ah, uh, yep, totally. I've always wondered. Where do super mutants get their underwear? Oh, <gasps> good point. They do all have it. I, they all have the same underwear. They're not like loincloths. Um, They're you know. actual underwear. Like somebody out there in the wasteland makes super mutant sized underwear. I have another question. Why are there no female super mutants? There is, there's one, there's one. She's in the crater and she protects a child. She's a right. friendly. Okay, so let me- Oh, okay, Rara is the child and the super mutant is her defender. So let me, let me rephrase the question. Why is there only one female super mutant? That just seems like a really bad job to have. Maybe that's why all the male super mutants are so angry Maybe. all the time. Maybe. She can take care of herself too. That's the last image that we have for you from this small but very interesting data mine of Enclave stuff. Yeah, if you are at all into Enclave, this is amazing. I'm just now starting to get into all the Enclave things and I think the style is just gorgeous. Let us know in the comments what you think of this, what you're excited about, and if you think that Bethesda is doing a good job representing the critical branding of the Enclave. My name is Oscat. And I'm Noodle Pants. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, stay safe out there, vault dwellers. In the heart of West Virginia, where the shadows creep and sway, lies a land of rusted dreams where the brave dare not stray. Appalachia, oh, it's a treacherous ride with dangers untold and nowhere to hide.